Hi, my name is Albert Dunford, and in this tutorial video, we are going to determine the motor parameter, so the state of resistance, LD, LQ, the back EMF of this motor, uh, using instance bin and some hardware here, and we're going to use PSIM to write the header file that uh, instance bin needs to be able to do the routine. So in PSIM, we're going to go to Utilities Instance Bin Parameter Editor, and we can see right away uh, what pops up. Um, we're going to choose to determine a BLDC PMS, PMSM style, and we're going to click the motor identification box, and that's going to gray out the parameters that we're, we're going to be able to determine over here. We need to still provide the number of poles and the max current and max motor RPM for the motor. We also need to define the max DC bus voltage and the uh, resistive divider that's on this board for the uh, voltage sensing and also here we need to define the uh, voltage feedback for the AC voltage so this is a low pass filter and the resistor values and capacitor values and we're also able to work with a predefined setting for the current sensing for the DRV8305 so I'll just quickly unplug this and we can have a look at this board this is the DRV8305 board. This is a inverter board that plugs on to the Launchpad XL that I'm using, and it has a predefined power stage, so some switches, again, the DC, the DC voltage feedback values and the AC voltage feedback, and the current sensing is all built onto this board here. And then this plugs in directly onto this Launchpad XL. So this is an Instaspin F2069M uh, Launchpad XL board. So we can see Instaspin motion on the back there. And this board just plugs in on the top. Be careful when plugging in. There are no keying or any other methods that prevent you from prevent, uh, plugging this in backwards. And then we're just going to plug the board in as well at the bottom here and connect up the DC bus with my uh, barrel connector. And then that... Uh, is ready to go and um, over back in piece and now we're going to hit uh, we can put a comment in here so this is going to be motor ID video params and we're going to hit uh, generate and then this gets saved so if we go to our our, our piece of install and we go to examples and then motor identification there are three uh, setups that one can use. So the, the file that we generate is dependent on the uh, hardware we're using. So we're going to use the DRV8305. We're going to hit and resave over this guy and hit yes. And that's uh, what we need to do there. I didn't mention down at the bottom here, there's the DSP control parameters and the instance bin parameters that we can set up here. The DSP control parameters, this has to deal with how many times instance spin and the current loops all execute relative to each other. Uh, we've set everything to 1 up here because we're doing it 15k. And then over here, these values uh, determine how quickly and how aggressive the motor startup is when it comes to determining the, instance, to the, the motor parameters. If you can read up on this a little bit yourself if you're interested in that. But otherwise, we're done with this file now as we did, we already generated. So we can X out of this and we'll go into Co-Composer Studio now. So we're ready to import the project now. So we're going to go Project, Import CCS Project. We're going to hit Browse. And you'll notice that I'm, I'm browsing to a file as opposed to the legacy import, which I do for the regular cogeneration videos. So we'll go to Motor Identification, and we want the DRV8305. And we hit OK, and then we hit Finish. And here are all the files that we just generated. And there's the... Uh, motor parameter f f file that we just generated, motor ID video params, and we are ready to debug as long as we make sure that we have the right um, target configuration over here. So this is connecting to the 069 with the 100 version 2 JTAG, and uh, we're ready to go. So we'll hit debug. Okay, so the motor's parameter has loaded and we started in the pause state. So we'll start this in a second, but first we need to add in all the watch expressions that we're going to need. So to do that, we need to open up the scripting console. If you don't have this here, go to view and then come down to scripting console and this will open this up. And then we just are going to go open and grab in the file here in the DRV8305 file and look at scripts and we'll grab the motor ID script and run that. And we can see that this loads everything up that we need. And we're ready to go now. 
So we also need to make sure that continuous refresh is on. And so we're going to uh, enable the system. And we're going to run identify here. And put one and hit enters in. And then this motor is going to start jigging around a little bit. So we can already feel that the motor is vibrating a little bit at my fingertips. And we can see that um, the DC bus is being sensed. RS has been determined now, uh, right here. And uh, as, this, as we get going here, this is going to start to jig around a little bit and start accelerating. And we're going to be able to determine the uh, back EMF and LD and LQ as once the motor hits sort of a steady state speed. And I think it ends up spinning. We can see the speed here. It's about 600 RPM right now. And I think we'll end up, oh, it's re-evaluated. Re so we're at 300 RPM. And uh, there's the back EMF is hitting a number down here. And we'll just wait for it to finish up here. So you can see it's spinning. And uh, it will finish relatively soon. Right there, LD and LQ values have just been uh, estimated. And it's going to finalize those pretty quickly here. And then the motor uh, routine will be done, and the motor will stop spinning. OK, everything's done. The motor stopped, and we have our parameters that we're going to need, uh, RS, LD, LQ, back EMF. And uh, we're going to use these to help build a model of this motor so that we can determine some appropriate control loop parameters for it. OK, so that's it for uh, this tutorial video. As a reminder, um, this will work for uh, the predefined hardware that we have here, the DRV8305, the 8312, or the high voltage kit. If you want to run your own custom inverter to do the motor ID, you will need to adjust some of the parameters in the code. Please get in touch with us to help you with that. And um, yeah, that's it for this uh, video. Uh, please check back again often for further videos. Thank you so much for watching.